using your iReady diagnostic data. So there's two reasons that we want to do this. First of all, we want to see how our class is performing and what domain specific instructional needs they need. And also what are the suggested growth measures for each of my students? So go ahead and go into iReady. And we are going to go under the reports tab at the top. And for the criteria here, we're going to look at class. You can also search by student or you can print a batch report. We're going to look at the class. We're going to look at our diagnostic reading results. And then we can look at each section by placement definition. So first of all, we're going to look over here at our overall placement. Overall placement is a look at the distribution of students in each grade level placement. And then over here, placement of, by domain, you can see which domain has the highest percentage of students on or above grade level, which domain has the lowest percentage of students on or above grade level, and which domain that you want to focus on for teacher-led instruction, which you can see here that this would be our focus. And if you scroll down on this bar right here, we have our student performance, and then we have student growth measure over here. So for our student performance, you can sort by either scale score, overall placement, or a specific domain to identify the needs of groups and individual students. And then for your student growth measures, you can select column data to see the growth measures for each student by class. So once you look at your overall placement, you can also go back up to the top and look at your five level placement which then breaks our tiers down even deeper. So we have our tier one, two, three. You can see who's at or above grade level right here. And then our intensive students who is intensive students who are significantly below grade level right here. So after you look at your data, you can dive back into your reports and go into specific students. You can do it that way. Or over on the left hand side right here, you can look at your um, students specifically to see where their instructional needs are. I'm going to look at an individual student report to see what I can do to um, plan instruction for this student. So once I go into the student, I'm going to look at the different domains where they need um, one on one instruction. So I can see at vocabulary the students two grade, well, more than two grade levels below, along with um, this performance as well, or this domain as well. So when I click on the domain, it will give you a list of suggestions of how to assess these two er or this area in this domain. So it'll give you a de developmental analysis, um, things you can do with a student and the next steps. This is where you're going to find your teacher led instruction. So if you click on the plus, it'll explain every step of this um, prerequisite for the student. And then down here for the tools, if you click on the tools, this is where you're going to find your teacher-led instruction. So these are just simple lessons, and it'll tell you how many minutes to spend on this lesson. And a lot of the times when these students at this grade, the same grade level, are lacking in the same domain, a lot of the lessons are the same. So this is where you would group your students together and teach lessons together. This is just a 30 to 45 minute lesson, depending on how big your group is or how much time you want to spend on it. Um, this can be used in your literacy circle or during your intervention time.